Hey everybody, welcome back to Forbidden West. We made it through this sunken or flooded maze situation. And uh, found a couple of neat little side rooms with some good valuables inside, uh, but did eventually make it across to the gene locked hatch. So here we go. God, what is that? That thing is huge. Whoa. It looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Let the backup start looking. I'll take Stay that. Never have too much Ridgewood, they always say. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please let me control do this you thing. Do wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay. So, based on what we read earlier... That doesn't sound good. Recluse spider. And very heavy. Be careful. Recluse spider oh, was used power. to store. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus yeah. for Gaia and Hades. There you go. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. But why do they make it look like this? Remember, Honchos, that our very necessary security procedures require a complete diagnostic check on both the Gaia and the Hades repositories before each testing cycle. Can I put it any straighter? How about this? Triple check both of those big circular thingies before pressing the red button. Jesus, can't believe I'm the responsible one around here. Log start. Repositories locked in. Gaia kernel green. Hades kernel green. Uh, SF sim exit initialized. Heuristic matrix launched. Trigger countdown. Triple check both of those big circular thingies before pressing the red button. Well. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the guy repository is stuck. So unstick it. I'm going to. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling from the arm. I mean down. I should be able to access that pod. Can I examine this one first? 80312 vessel corroded. Data lost. The water, it looks like it destroyed them. Data lost. All oh. of them. You don't suppose Gaia too? Only one way to be sure. Cool. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast super intelligence. It barely expected us. <laughs> Just shushed him. Useless? I'm afraid so. Without subfunction 
Fuck off! Aloy, you've got all you could. For what? He could Nothing? be manipulating us here. Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. But it works. Uh, uh. It was worth it. You found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but. One's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover maneuver. It's something. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Let's not get too excited. Ah, uh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Who? Hey, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Guy and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First, I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, <laughs> then I track you down and end yours. God. I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Wait, did we just? There. Oh. New focus, spyware free. Okay. We're just carrying around a spare focus. I don't care how powerful they are. The only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entering our What? Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. How the hell? Hmm. Looks promising. Beta. No way. Is this another clone, maybe? What? Oh. Remember we said there were two there, so now she has the other one. Do we have it? Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Oh boy. Shit. <laughs> Spectres, fade up. Holy, this is not at all what I thought was going down. Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, 
Don't like it. Don't want it. But the if Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric. Yeah. Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. <laughs> oh, Makes cool. a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? I was gonna say, they seem a little this more advanced. It's not the same as feeling, hurt, pain, power, frustration. He doesn't seem to care about that. I'm not hurting Adulation. him. I need a way out of here. Bring the whole processor down? I gotta use that console to make it drop. Okay, 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 okay. Don't okay. Now I can break the couplings holding that thing. That's not gonna help you, girl. Not yet. This kills all mine. Another one down. What are you up to? Nothing. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> How are these guys? Okay. Taste the blood. You got spunk, girl. Much better. Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. Oh, gotta cut the main stem. <laughs> oh, I see it. Surely he's got to be concerned. If that thing comes down, it's only going to kill you. Better than letting you have all the fun. No, is he that dumb? Okay, still didn't even hurt him. <laughs> but that's our way out. Cool, 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 cool. So these guys are some what you advanced. What the hell did you think? I don't know if they're a separate race. They're evolved. Some the type of human evolution. I don't know. I went with it. Right. 
And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres. Search. The Spectres of the Machines. Yeah, how are we gonna stay away from that? I gotta find a way out of here. There, there's a current. It's heading for an exit. There'd be a way under this. Uh here we go. Oh my god, go. Shit. In at least four meters underwater, you'll be hidden from detection by enemies at the surface. Okay. Whoa. Four meters seems to be like right at the base here. I don't suppose we can open this. Oh, yes. die oh we're definitely dying oh oh my god I'll take it I will take it how are we I don't know how to get out of here Good thing is, I mean, we've got the size advantage in this kind of scenario. So fast. Oh, you're happy to see me? Yeah, that's where I meant to jump. Looks like some kind of power room. A current's lead here. Promising. What the hell? Oh, what's this? Didn't even see that.
Maybe not so perfect. Maybe just a little bit less than perfect. right here and the way you were clutching it when I found you I knew it was important where are we an outpost of the Utaru tribe not far from where you fell oh I wonder if this is the place Two that days. we were getting rejected from before only Utaru allowed Aloy, there's no time. I found something in the mountains west, west of Plains Song. Yeah, <laughs> I kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Fall. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. Why? She told me there's been trouble in those mountains, a cave spitting out deadly machines. Oh. Can't be a coincidence, right? No. Nope. Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Sometimes we're a little bit too strong-willed. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. Um, what? So. I think that's her that shut us down. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods, and she's dying. Not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? about to do might look bad but it will help spear that's cool so these guys kind of worship these <laughs> Oh. 
I still need to talk. Of course. But this way. I think we've earned the talking at this point. <laughs> the mountains. West of Plainsong. There's trouble out there. The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Hmm. Food for all, a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm, a blessed land providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like rituals Ray, of renewal? They're dying. And my tribe with them. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray hurt me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. Hmm. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. How do they know each other? Because there seems to be something going on here. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first. 
then Ray, <laughs> then me, and so on. Then Fasola and Tia Spattered the soil from their labors. Each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. You gotta get in there. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Yeah, it's time to we do. Exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling we're not quite ready for that. Tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. <laughs> I got it. Aloy doesn't do bed rest either. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her calm. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It, it's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It, it's just that I. Shh. Oh, damn. <laughs> Little heart between the silhouette, of course. Is that what you were trying to say? <laughs> um. Yes. <laughs> then I look forward to more conversation. Uh. Yeah. Me too. Very interested to see Aloy's reaction here because. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel. You should go with her. Yeah. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <laughs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. So, wait. I think that's super cool. I was a bit worried that she might get jealous, not because she likes him like that, but just because of the attention and him always kind of being there. Now he's running off with someone else. And yeah, who are these people? We know one's name is Eric, but that's all we got. But they're definitely from not this place. <laughs> Oh, 
That's a cool little twist I wasn't totally expecting. Okay, let me, uh... Somehow it's docile. A plow horn. Part of its programming, maybe? Quest resource? What do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Okay. The sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Oh, is that maybe uh... a thrush? Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja huntress with an Utaru thrush. What? Am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today, running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaru girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. <laughs> thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Okay, cool. Thanks. Good chat. The Burning Blooms. Eclipse holdouts are gathering in the Forbidden West, rebuilding their army for the Battle of the Light. This must be stopped. Go to the Eclipse hideout's coordinates. Uh, oh, here. Sorry, this is the actual one. Karja Huntress was spotted roaming the wilds in no man's land. Could it be an old friend? Yeah. Probably. Um, what's the closest? Probably that so far. Okay, so you sell not a lot, but I have a lot to sell you. The big hull. Restock our berries. And let's just take a look here. So Slicing Shredder could be upgraded. The Trip Caster. Oh, we have our level 2 upgrade here. For the Frost Hunter Bow. Take that. I feel like we'll be using this for a while. Create that job. Uh, Rope Caster level 3. We might as well. Gets us an empty coil slot there. And then we can upgrade this. We actually need a green shine sliver. New weapon attributes, 5% crit chance. Uh, more green shine slivers. Holy smokes. Green shine clusters as well. Okay, this thing must be pretty insane. We haven't even had a chance to use it since we picked it up. Uh, we'll create this as well. Food pouch, sure. Then here... That's fine. Okay. I don't know if this is the same place. Oh, yeah, no, it definitely 100% is. The one that we were getting uh, rejected from before. How does one leave here, guys? Uh, if I want to leave the settlement, how do I do that? Here we go. Oh, hi. From one hunter to I need another. to meet Varl and Zo in plain song. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Yeah, that would First, be something. I might want to head southwest to find an old friend. See what she's doing out here. And maybe explore a little. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Uh, 
Where is it that we're going to want to go? The burning blooms. Yeah, we'll head down here. And then along the way, we'll try and hit, you know, this kind of stuff. Hit the campfires, maybe this thing. There is a cauldron here, which is cool. Uh, where does our main quest lead? That's actually heading much further north to Plainsong. Okay. All right, let's take a break here, guys. We'll see you soon. Uh, bye for now, almost. Let's do one of our character bios here. Errant, our boy. A brave and capable fighter, Aaron hails from the resourceful and ale-loving Osaram tribe. Along with his sister Ursa, he played an instrumental role in deposing the Mad Sun King of the Karja tribe, effectively ending a series of violent incursions and human sacrifices known to all as the Red Raids. A part of the new and benevolent Sun King's personal vanguard, Aaron enlisted Aelu's help to bring the Osram terrorist Derval to justice for murdering his beloved sister. In doing so, they thwarted Derval's plan to bomb Meridian, the Karja capital. Later, Aaron returned the favor by fighting at Aloy's side against Hades at the Battle of the Light. Aaron's gratitude to Aloy has evolved into heartfelt friendship, paired with a personal debt he can never truly be repaid. And I think maybe even a little bit more than friendship, but who knows? Guys, see you soon. Bye for now.